Here are the sum of the two numbers from 50 rolls of a pair of standard dice. So this is a lot of data. Okay, what we're going to do first, we're going to use this chart to just organize, simply organize our data. So let's go. Okay, so the sum of two dice, it starts at two because you can only roll a one and a one. And then it goes all the way up to 12, which is a six and a six. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, and we don't need the last one. So now let's just make a tally of all of the numbers here. So uh, let's, I'll do three at a time. Eleven, six, four. So we have an eleven, a six, and a four. Four, five, seven. Four, five, and seven. Four, ten, nine. Four, ten, nine. 10, 7, 11, 10, 7, 11, 8, 9, 12, 8, 9, 12, 7, 8, 10, 7, 8, 10, 6, 3, 5, 6, 3, 5, let's go 6, 2, 5, Oh, we already had that. Six, two, eight. Six, two, eight. Five, five, eleven. Well, oh, five, five, and eleven. Nine, seven, six, six. Those ones are easy. So I'm going to do four. Nine, seven, six, six. Okay. Seven two five six. Seven two five and six. Two six five eight. Two six five eight. Six five eight five five nine. Six, five, eight, five, five, nine, two, three, ten, nine, eight, and I hope that I have all of those correct. I know sometimes on this software, the uh, the numbers erase or the lines erase. So let's actually tally up the frequency. So the frequency for two, two shows up four times, three shows up two times, four shows up three times. This is a nine and eight. Yeah. Uh, five, a six, five, four, three, and one. Let's actually do the total here. So we have... Four. Oh, we don't even need to do the total actually right now because the cumulative frequency will figure that out. So up until here, we count for four and then six, seven, eight, nine. So you keep adding this on. Okay, nine plus nine is 18. 18 plus eight is 20. Let's go six. 26 plus five is 31. 31 plus six, we get 37. 37 plus five. I'm so lazy. 42, 42, 43, ah, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. Okay, this is perfect because there were 50 rolls of a pair of standard dice. dice. Okay, so um, Let's continue. So this is our sum, tally, frequency, and cumulative frequency. This is a chart. Um, a lot of times I'll put this chart on the test for you. It's just there to completely just organize your data. Now, let's A, use the frequency table to organize this data. We did that. Are there any trends or patterns apparent in this table? Um, the bigger, like, the, the bigger numbers here, the more uh, frequent numbers are right in the middle. So this could look 
this could look like this, okay? Which we'll eventually get into. I want this to grow. Which would be um, similar to a bell curve, but we'll get into that in another one or two units. Now, use a graph to illustrate the information in a frequency table. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna use this information in the frequencies table uh, to graph it. So let's start with the histogram, and then what we're gonna do is we're going to plot the frequency polygon on, on top of the histogram. Okay, so let's let's do this out. Let's start with, these are going to be the sums. We'll color black. Okay, so let's call this sum. There's going to be a sum of 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And then this is going to be the frequency at the side. So the frequencies, if we take a look at the frequencies, the biggest one is 9. Oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's go up by 2s. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Beautiful. Okay, so let's draw a bar graph with a nice ruler that I don't have. That's okay. So let's go. It's not a bar graph, sorry. It's a histogram. So four, two, three, nine, eight. So three goes up here. Nine, eight, five, six, five, five, six, five. Four, three, one. Four, three, one. So that is going to be our histogram. Now for the frequency polygon, what we want to do is we're going to go to the midpoint of each of these bars, right at the top, and we want to draw a point. And then all we want to do is connect these points, and then that is going to be our frequency polygon. So connect, 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 connect. And of course, we're doing this with a ruler. And that should be it.